what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel experience ROMs review and let me talk about some things first if you want to flash this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro just click on this card right here you can see how to flash this ROM and talking about like the other things like the ROMs features and stuff I would say the most amazing feature right now for this custom ROM is face unlock and all the devices should get the face unlocked like pretty soon and already on the pixel experience official rom for the redmi note 5 pro and for the redmi note 7 pro the feature is already there so yeah i flashed the latest pixel experience rom on the redmi note 5 pro already and the face unlock is working like a charm and all the other roms like based on android 10 should get this feature pretty quick so you don't need to worry about it just like try reading the change logs and stuff all the ROMs should receive this feature pretty soon. So now let's just talk about this ROM. What are the like bugs that I have found or what are the features that I am enjoying? The first thing which I have noticed as this ROM is like based on the OSS vendor. If you go to the like about phone, you don't have to like get in as you can see over here. It shows Mi 90 Pro. Even if you open the CPU Z, if you go into like this model over here, it shows the Mi 90 Pro instead of the Redmi K20 Pro name. Because this is my Indian Redmi K20 Pro, so it should show like Redmi K20 Pro and Raphael in over here. But the name has been changed to Mi 90 Pro. I'm fine with it. I don't have a huge issue with it. But yeah, I'm just saying that the name has been changed to Mi 90 Pro like instead of K20 Pro on this Indian units. So right now let's move on like to other things that I have noticed. The notification LED present on this camera over here does work super fine. You do not need to worry if I open the stock camera and show you if you are noticing the front camera. As you can see the LED is working on the camera and even the LED on the like top over here does work while charging and stuff so that's not a problem. Now let's talk about some more things about the camera. Here that I have noticed is that like in terms of the slow motion, the 960 FPS slow mo is not simply working at all. Like if I start shooting, it does shoot the video, but as you can see, it gets stuck in this like processing kind of thing. So it will keep processing, it does not end at all. So this is one bug that I have noticed as you can see, it's still processing. You cannot move into the UI on the camera, but you can tap here and stuff like this. So that's how it is. This 960 FPS slow mo with this MIUI or NX camera is not working at all. If you go into the video mode and here, if you tap over here, as you can see, the video quality is 1080p 30. No, 720p 60 is not even there. As you can see, the 1080p 60 FPS is there, but there is no 4K 60 FPS or 30 FPS option for the video. That really sucks, I guess. And here, let me take a ultra pixel picture and if you see the info as you can see the 48 megapixel pictures and stuff those things are working all the lenses does work over here but the only problem that i have noticed is there is no 4k 60 fps shooting option with the stock nx camera or miui camera but you can install google camera and with the google camera let me show you the settings and stuff and here if you enable this ultra high resolution video 4k mode then it should work fine with this google camera if you want to install this google camera on your redmi k20 pro and this also works with the note 7 pro 2 if you want to install it here is a card for you you can like install it from there and then like set it up like i showed on that video now let me talk about some things about the sound quality over here the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is super fine that's not a problem but one thing that i have noticed let me show you if i connect my dual driver earphones over here and let me show you this is my me dual driver earphones and if you connect any earphone which has the like volume rockers over here so if i play some music over here and if i tap the volume down button or the volume up button as you can see it acts weirdly it's doing weird stuff but the middle button does play and pause but if you connect any wired headphones which has like volume rockers let me show you even in youtube it happens so as you can see it's playing the video but if i tap the volume down button it does not control the volume at all but instead the like upper part over here becomes a little bit faded so this is really weird but it does play and pause as you can see but the volume buttons are acting weirdly after like flashing this rom i don't know why now let's talk about one more thing which is this hd icon over here 
well i don't even know why they included it like there should be a vaulty icon instead it should look like a lot better because like the redmi k20 pro does not have any notches so it can definitely show a vaulty icon over here but i don't know why it keeps showing this hd logo what's the point of this like kind of notification you cannot even hide it i guess i don't even know you can if you can hide it no i cannot even hide it so this is a really weird thing that i have been noticing the hd logo get stuck over there on the notification panel for no reason just to inform that you have vault e you don't need to like put a hd logo up there just put like some vault e icon over here on the network like any other roms now let's talk battery life i would say the battery life has been really good i have been getting good battery life no issues whatsoever that i could find here if you notice i got three hours of screen on time actually three and a half hours of screen on time and i still have 70 percent juice left which is like really really amazing and it can definitely give you like six plus or seven eight hours of screen on time pretty easily and it can last you a whole working day without any issues so the battery life i would say is really good i do not have any complaints regarding the battery life and it does support 18 watt fast charging that's not a problem here now let's talk about the fingerprint scanner well i would say the fingerprint scanner is very fast just look at this it unlocks like it is so reliable i think it's better than the evolution x -Trom. as you can see it, the fingerprint scanner is in my opinion the one of the best kind of fingerprint scanners as you can see i mean one of the best kind of unlocking things in custom rom department and as you can see it unlocks 100 percent of the time with like very little timing so as you can see it saves a lot of time while like it unlocks like this this is a really cool feature now talking about face unlock i would say the face unlock has been working really good for me at least and it is good that we have the face unlock like this it unlocks almost right away but sometimes what i have noticed is that like it does not like the double tap to wake does not work sometimes as you can see i do have the double tap to wake enabled on the redmi k20 pro but it does not work as you can see i have to tap the power button to like get to the lock screen and then swipe up to use the face unlock thing so this kind of like is weird but this double tap to wake is working fine with the redmi note 5 pro like it's not bad at all like this one so double tap to wake actually works better on the redmi note 5 pro instead of the k20 pro right now but yeah with updates it can be a lot better and i know the latest evolution x got the face unlocked too so i'm gonna be trying it like trying to flash the evolution x rom so stay tuned for that for the redmi k20 pro and a lot of you guys have asked me if the like always on display turned off then if the figment scanner actually works let me turn off the always on display and let's see i tried it once but it did not work but right now as you can see if i tap over here it unlocks the figment scanner or like it unlocks the device i mean with the figment scanner when the display is turned off this is a really cool feature as you can see it wakes up the screen and then it unlocks let me show you again and let's do it again it's unlocking but it takes a little bit more time i guess as you can see it wakes up the display then it unlocks it does not wake up the only the fingerprint scanner area so yeah that's how it is but while unlocking there is some kind of a little bit of glitch but like if you notice the brightness of the screen as you can see right now it's not working i had to wake up the screen with the like power button now it's working but while unlocking there is some kind of brightness glitch but yeah i am fine with it i don't have much problem it can get fixed in the future updates and just for you guys here is the face unlock speed comparison between both of the devices the redmi note 5 pro actually wins here now let's talk about some other things like the safety net and stuff as you can see over here we do have the safety net check as passed so banking app should be working fine on the redmi k20 pro but on the redmi note 5 pro that is not the case you have to use magisk if you want to use the like banking apps on the pixel experience rom but on the k20 pro you are good to go you can like install banking apps and use them i have installed the google pay and stuff they are working totally fine here now in terms of drm info it still shows as level one if you notice over here so you can play like netflix or amazon prime contents on 1080p i guess as this is an indian unit and i still have level one security even though the device name has been changed so that's like pretty good over here and the widgets and stuff are working totally fine but i cannot say that i am happy with the double tap to wake as you can see double tap to wake sometimes just does not work 
so that is really weird from the always on display but if you have the always on display turned off the double tap to wake works like 100% of the time so that's been it guys that was my review of this pixel experience rom you can definitely daily drive with this rom no issues whatsoever but there are some problems which i showed in this video if you are fine with it you can definitely use it and we also have these kind of features like you can adjust the brightness on the status bar and stuff and then screenshot this like there is the long kind of screenshot let me show you by taking over here there is this like long screenshot kind of this is really helpful that you can keep taking the screenshot like this so these kind of features really makes a difference and i would say this is a really cool feature i mean it's pretty convenient for me at least and this like power button toggle torch and stuff these things are working so you can definitely try this latest pixel experience rom on the redmi k20 pro and you can be pretty happy with it i guess from me why this is a like much better option in terms of stock android you don't like see any ads and stuff anywhere so yeah that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is dero from kd and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now